Hey, I came in to have a copper with your dad. He's nipped to the loo. Where have you been? I had a meeting with Thorne. Peter, what? You're meant to be staying away. Got a deal. So he's going to drop the charges against me if I drop my complaint against him. Well, that sounds like a eminently sensible idea. No, I had no choice, did I? Got me over a barrel, it's like you said. I lost the sympathy vote when I started swinging my fists. You know, it wasn't just about me, you know. I just wanted to stop him causing any harm to any other patients in the future. No. He's saying he'll retire early. Really? So I suppose we've sort of speeded that up. Yeah, well, you should definitely drop it then. I mean, I just want this guy out of our lives. <sighs> me too. OK, let's move on. Moving on. I've already got to move on, actually. Late to work. Right. Love you. I love you. All right, love. See you later. See you later. Well done. <laughs> Anywhere. You mean this? Oh, yeah. You got a message? Are you reading my messages? Yeah, I did on this occasion. I'll read it out to you. Charges have been dropped, so how about that dinner? That's from Thorne, so what's all this about? OK, look, I know that doesn't look good. No, it doesn't look good. Carry on. I went to see him, all right? And I didn't tell what you did because you I knew him for? how you'd react. Why did you go and see him? Why do you think? I asked him to drop the charges. Really? And what did you offer him in exchange? I beg your pardon? Nothing. So what's with the meal, then? Because he hit on me. I knew it. And I told now him where to shove somewhere. it. Did you know about this? Know about what? I left my phone here. He's just seen a message from Thorne asking me out. Oh, great. So you've both been conspiring behind my back? No! No, no one's been conspiring. I'm going to kill him, you know. Oh, don't be stupid, Peter. The only reason that he dropped them charges against me, Carla, is because he thought he could get into your pants. Oh, nice. You know what? So what? So what? Who cares? I care. Can't you see? If you go round there, you're playing straight into his hands. Well, so what? He just gets away with it instead? Yes! If, if you get off, then we get what we wanted, yeah? Can't you just leave it at that? It still feels wrong to me letting him get away with it. But if you even think about pulling out of this deal, he'll be straight back to the police. Yes. I'm not about to stand by and watch you go to prison, not for somebody like him. Hello? Speaking? Oh, yeah. Hi. OK. So all charges have definitely been dropped. OK, thanks for letting me know. Cheers. I take it that was the police? Yeah. So, as of now, I'm officially no longer under investigation. So, Thorne has stuck to his side of the arrangement. All you need to do now is stick to yours. Mr. Barlow, would you like to come through? Oh, uh, look, uh, if it's all the same to you, I'd rather just get this over and done with. So, uh, I want to withdraw my complaint against Mr. Thorne, please. I see. Um, can I ask why? Come on, look, I mean, does it really matter? I just want to pull the whole thing behind me. That's all. Ah, Mr. Barlow. To what do we owe the pleasure? Mr. Barlow has just informed me that he wants to withdraw his complaint. Ah, I see. Well, that's good. Glad you come to the right decision. Oh, I bet you are. So what's with the box? They've not fired you, have they? No, no, no. Far from it. I've decided to take early retirement. I've dominated my field for over 30 years, so it's only right to let some new blood through. Right. 
So how long till we shot of you? I mean, till you leave? Well, the board have agreed to waive my notice period, so as of now, I'm on gardening leave. Or should I say golfing leave? Sounds to me like they could not wait to get rid of you. Anyway, I doubt our paths will cross again. But at least I hope they won't. Thanks. Oh, I nearly forgot. Carla said to say thanks for the message, but she won't be taking you up on your offer. I think her actual words were, wild horses couldn't drag her. Thanks. He'd already cleared his death. He said the hospital allowed him to retire with immediate effect, which sounds to me like they could not wait to see the back of him. Well, good. Surprised he didn't fire him out of a cannon. Mind you, it still stinks, you know, him walking away from all this unpunished. Yeah, but at least, at least he won't be able to ruin anybody else's life, will he? Oh, you say that, but as far as we know, he never did any permanent damage. Oh, what, we're going to wait for somebody to die next time? No, that's not what I'm saying well, you, at all. Yeah, you sort of hey, did. Hey, let's not argue between ourselves. As far as I'm concerned, this calls for a celebration. In fact, I might bake a cake. You're going to bake a cake? No. I'm going to take you out for a slap-up meal, though. No. Yes, no, no arguments. No arguments. Can you come in? No, I'm going to pass. Put that down. Before we change your mm. mind, we're mm. off. Come on. Steak. <sighs> I'm not really hungry. I'll just, uh, I'll have a Caesar salad. Please. Oh, have the steak. Come on, you know you want it. We'll both have the steak. Mm, that's what I like to see. A woman who knows her man's mind. <laughs> and uh, what would you like to drink? Oh. Um, yeah. Two of your best uh, non-alcoholic cocktails, I suppose. Oh, are we celebrating? No. Yes. Uh, you might want to adjust his settings. He's uh, not quite on message. I know. I don't believe this. What's oh. he doing here? They booked in a few hours ago. It's a retirement party, I think. Why? Do you know them? Could say that. Right, sorry, Debbie. Scrub that. We're going. What, you leaving? No, no, we're not. I'm not having that smug get chasing me out. Sorry, but uh, who am I listening to this time? Me. We're staying. Good. Glad to hear it. I'll uh, sort your mocktails out. <laughs> <laughs>